In that place between wakefulness and dreams, I found myself in the room. There were no distinguishing features save for the mysterious array of black cabinets which surrounded me. As I drew near the closest array of cabinets, I discovered one of them to be labeled dating. I was shocked that I recognized the names written on each one. I felt strange as I opened the next drawer to confirm the truth. Suddenly, it hit me. This was some sort of crude filing system for my life. Every detail, every action. I begin randomly moving from cabinet to cabinet, opening drawers and searching their contents. The labels range from the mundane to the outright weird. Often there were many more files than I expected, sometimes fewer than I had hoped. I was overwhelmed by the sheer volume of the life I had lived. Could it be possible that I had the time in my short life to write each of these thousands, possibly millions of files? But each file confirmed this truth. Each was signed with my signature. I felt a chill run through my body as my curiosity overcame me. Once again, I found myself confronted with the memories of my past. I felt sick to think that such details had been recorded. Suddenly, I felt an animal rage. One thought dominated my mind. No one must ever see these files. No one can see this room. Defeated and utterly helpless, I returned the file to its drawer. I saw it. Opening a drawer, I found it to be mostly empty. And then tears filled my eyes. I cried out of shame. No one must ever, ever know of this room. And then I saw him. I watched helplessly as he began to open and read the files. He seemed to intuitively go to the worst ones. Why did he have to read every one? Suddenly, he was by my side. He could have said so many things, but he didn't say a word. He just cried with me. Then he returned to the files. Starting on one side of the room, he took out a file and began to cover my name. I shouted for him to stop, rushed up and took the card from him. He doesn't deserve this. But there it was, marked in red, so rich, so dark, so alive. The mark of Jesus covered mine. My name was covered in his blood. placed his hand on my shoulder and said, It is finished. And he led me out of the room. There was no lock on its door. There were still files to be written. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it wide as snow.